Oh yeah. Time for the first tryst there. So the trick trip goes to the pop in, searches around for the rip ripped fantasy. Um the rip rip gets to choose the room, and this is interesting because some flips might say to very specific, very popular rips, hey, you know, I've got this super fancy suite. You attract a certain kind of clientele that we like, so use this. So these guys, or gals, I hate to be so sexually biased here, or gender biased, but it's just the way it is. It's usually, we're looking more at the man shopping for the woman, even though I know it works in reverse quite often. So that which is um, plural, can be determined as singular or interpreted as singular and that which is feminine can be interpreted as masculine and vice versa. So at any rate, you get online, you find that ultimate date in that ultimate fantasy room. Once again, the rips get to choose the room. You go ahead and use that pop identification number, incognito number, name, name and number, your secret identity. You send them an email, you get a response. Once you finally got an agreed meeting room, an agreed tryst, a time, a place, whatever, then the trick transfers the money to the pop in. Now the pop is going to hold that money until after they've had their little tryst, after everything is done, all dispositions, and that includes from the flip's head, are in. So sometimes it might take a few hours for that money to clear because the flip's head only has to fill out those forms every two hours. You know, take time out on a break and fill out things. Um, but no money is released until then. That way, if there's any objections whatsoever, if there was a problem with the date, maybe the trick feels they deserve a refund, you know, they just might be granted that. It'll all go through a dispute resolution process set up by the board members. In the meantime, timely arrival. No more than 15 minutes early. Any earlier than that, and we're starting to wonder about you. You have no business hanging out here. And security's busy enough keeping the the rips and rips in line, much less keeping the tricks in line, too. Tricks, you know you have a date at a very specific time. You are being billed, not from the moment you walk through the door, but from the moment you contracted to be billed from. And you had to prepay in advance. If you wanted two hours in advance, you paid for two hours in advance, otherwise you have to reorder that second hour if you want it kind of thing. You are being billed for that. And that billing doesn't stop until you check out of that room or until your pre-billed, what you ordered in advance, has been satisfied. Whichever is the latter. Because we're out for the money. We're out to make money. There's no doubt about it. So if you prepaid for two hours in advance, but you left an hour and a half or left it after an hour and a half, you're not getting a refund. You, you paid for the two hours in advance, and that's just the way it is. So if you want, you can also, and we'll be coming back to that, as a trick, you can sit there and say, look, I paid for two hours. I'm going to lay here, and I'm going to do this or that. And that's entirely up to you. You paid for that room as much as the, the rip did. Um, with certain behavior contingencies, of course. You can't go around and being a jerk. Once again, if you feel like you showed up, they weren't ready, you have a right to... Um, you know, maybe ask for a refund, petition for a refund, things of that sort through a dispute resolution process. Getting into the tryst room is no more difficult than calling security and saying, Security, hi, I'm here at the front door. I'm checking in. I have a date at this time. I'm 15 minutes early. So they sit you in the lobby after they check you for everything and take your stuff and put it in a lockbox kind of thing. Once they've secured you, um... The, the security, the flip's head will call down, Rip, are you ready? The Rip had better be ready. The Rip had better be ready. If the Rip is not ready by the time that clock starts, that goes back to that refund policy. The um, Trick Trip has a right to say, hey, look, you know, I paid for this in advance. And this gal in this case was sitting on the edge of the bed or doing whatever in the hell she was doing. She was not servicing me as I paid for. And this came off on my time, so I deserve a certain amount of refund. And once again, there's also that transgression package for both tricks as well as the flips and the rips where we're going to be watching for behaviors like that. We're not going to be playing these little kitty games. This is business. 
we got time for this. This is business. This is our money. We want to see the money. We don't want some little gal sitting up there saying, well, I'm 30 years old, and I've been playing this a long time, and I'm not going to play by the rules, and I don't care if I, you know, that he's paying me. I'm going to waste 10 minutes of his time while I sit here and do my nails and chat online. Bull. You keep that crap up, you're gone, you're fired. You have been revoked, and re revocation is generally for life. Assuring security. Okay, security comes down, knocks on the old door. Hello, Rip. What do you think of this person here? For any reason, any reason whatsoever, that Rip has a vibe about that trick. All they have to do is say it to security, and that trick is gone. They can talk about refund policy later. And we totally understand that. There's a major, it's 10 points in transgression, so this one little transgression will not necessarily be held against the RIP. If anything, if the RIP wants to not contest the refund, not contest any of it, that's perfectly fine. The RIP needs, though, to still go and record their dispositions of what that vibe was. How, why? Did you know that person from another life? Is that person some freak in your childhood? We're looking for freaks. We want to know. We want to know. When we start getting that kind of information about a trick from two or three different rips that don't even know each other, you can bet, phew, we're down on that trick. We know who it is. We've got independent confirmation from several sources, and you can bet you were watching them. So getting cleaned up. The trick, <laughs> we're trying to make it exciting for you. you got a fancy room if you chose wisely, and, or if you just got a basic room if that's what you wanted. Um, but you still got to hit the showers. Take five minutes, clean your butts up, make yourself nice and squeak clean. Your rip had better be clean, and that's something that you can put in your disposition. Well, was your rip clean? Because you tricks will also be running dispositions.